In today's video, we're gonna talk about why you need to live life extremely. Got some extreme stuff for you. What's up everybody, this is Josh from Practical Theism. You know, there once was a Spanish knight from a really noble family. He was also a hermit, priest since 1537 and a theologian who founded a religious order and it was the first superior general. He was a brilliant knight who fought in many, many battles without any injuries until May 20th, 1521, when a cannonball wounded one of his legs and broke the other. Unperturbed, he got up and hobbled back to the castle he needed extensive surgery, of course, which was undertaken without anesthesia. I mean, no big deal, right? No anesthesia. <laughs> Part of his leg bone had to be cut off, and the operation was generally a disaster. But despite the fact that he ended up with one leg shorter than the other, which led to the doctors um, who put weights on his leg to stretch it back out, he survived. And he went on to found one of the most famous religious orders in the world which was inspired by the religious texts he read while recovering from the cannonball. This was the Order of the Jesuits, and this man was St. Ignatius of Loyola. He devoted his life to the service of others. Another story, it's 1939, the German conquest of Poland. When a prisoner escaped from the camp, the Germans chose 10 men at random and sentenced them to death by starvation. Now, one of them was a Polish sergeant, whom a priest named Max Kolbe had befriended. Father Kolbe left his place in the ranks and asked permission from the commandant to take Sergeant's place. This really shocked the German officer, but he agreed, and Kolbe and nine others were taken away to die. I think that we all hear these stories and think like, yeah, that's great, but that's just not normal. I mean, that's just an extreme example. People just don't do that. But you see, I would propose to you that that is exactly how we are supposed to live life. We were not designed to be bulgering blobs of gray molding ourselves into whatever modern society would call normal. We were designed for extreme living. We were designed for extreme acts of charity, to be set apart for sanctity. You see, the reason why we look at someone like Ignatius or like Maximilian Kolbe and are just in complete awe and inspired by what we hear or what we see is because our innermost soul is longing for that level of heroic charity in our lives. We all are in our own love story. Love is at the central core of our being and that is why we talk about it so much. Some people love God, love their spouse, they love their dog, their kids, their lamp. Love is the deepest level of human interaction and emotion and because of that, it can prompt us to do absolutely amazing things in our lives. See, the problem is we suppress it. Somewhere along the line, it didn't become cool for a husband to sacrifice one of his evenings so his wife can have a night off from dealing with the kids. Somewhere down the line, we stopped caring for our elders. Somewhere down the line, we started prizing our own body image or lifestyle over the life of an unborn child. And yet, we remain utterly inspired and when we hear about a husband who sacrifices so his wife can have a night out with the girls. We remain utterly fuzzy feelings when a young adult goes to spend time at an elderly home to be with the elderly. And we are just draw dropped and when the miracle of birth happens. You see, life was not meant to be boring. Life wasn't even meant to be mediocre. We were created to be full reflections of God in all of his holiness. We were created to be saints. And even though we fall short of that perfection every day through our own sin, we are still challenged, called to pursue sanctity. We were called to be set apart. But in order to do that, we shouldn't ever settle for mediocrity. Because sanctity lives outside the box of mediocrity. Sanctity is what is achieved when a life is lived in what the world would call extreme ways, radical ways, perfected with heroic love. Father Kolbe offered his life to save another. Ignatius of Loyola took everything God was showing him through his studies to found a religious order 
and share that knowledge in service to Christ and His church. And there is really kind of a fun realization that I had years ago. Standing out is actually kind of cool. It's kind of fun. I'll just end by asking you, are you living your life in an extreme way that stands out to others? If you haven't already, hit the like button, pound that subscribe button like you mean it, and from all of us here at Practical Theism, we'll catch you next time. <laughs>